Have your FPGAs ever failed occasional tests for no obvious reason? Have you seen random failures in some chips but not others? Have you ever had a design that passed every test in the lab, only to fail intermittently in the field? These types of failures are very time-consuming and expensive to track down, and they grow more costly the later in the design cycle they are fixed. Many failures like these are eventually tracked back to clocking problems, specifically to errors in managing clock domain crossings. With 10 or more IP blocks now common on large FPGAs, there may be dozens of different clocks on a single chip. When signals cross between these clock domains, you must be very careful to synchronize them, or you may end up with intermittent failures. Most designers know how to synchronize a signal crossing between clock domains using two flops. But did you know that if you put two flops on every bit of a bus, you may create a massive synchronization problem? Instead, you need to use MUX select or FIFO techniques to properly synchronize all the bits on a bus as they cross between the clock domains. Data crosses from one domain to another but is synchronized using a control signal. Once signals are properly synchronized, you need to make sure they do not reconverge. If they do, arbitration may cause the two bits to have different delays and be out of sync. What you are trying to avoid with proper clock domain crossings is metastability, which occurs when register setup and hold times are not met. If a register becomes metastable, it will take significantly longer than expected to reach the correct logic level and may propagate unknown signals. It is these types of clock domain crossing errors that can cause those intermittent failures in your FPGA devices. When FPGA designs were small, you may have been able to track down clock domain crossing problems in the lab. But with millions of gates in today's FPGAs, planning to debug them in the lab is insane. To learn more about starting FPGA verification before going into the lab, contact Blue Pearl Software.